Miss Courtney, hold up the number of the yard sale we bought. Well, I ain't seen anything yet, so I couldn't tell you either. Oh, hey, I didn't see y'all sitting there. How cheesy. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, goodness. I ain't paid yet. Hey. Go ahead, well, I didn't pull them, so. Howdy, howdy, everybody. How are y'all doing on this fine Labor Day? Today is Monday. We're going to go ahead and pull our eBay orders going out so far, pack them up, because in the morning we got a doctor's appointment, kids' school, that kind of deal, so we won't, we don't want to be rushed. Plus, we got them out the lights. Mm -hmm. So we're just getting a jump start on it. And um, so we got, we're got we going to go ahead and pull these packed. We done pulled them. And we're going to show them to you pack them up and then if any more sales we'll get that too this evening or tomorrow um, I don't know we'll see anyhow um, thank y'all for coming back and watching another redneck resale video we got the website squared away now so we apologize again for that issue but it's all good to go and first thing we sold is these Lularoe leggings one size solid gray these sold 1552 plus shipping Next thing we sold is this Hoya Cot cable right there. See a Joker? 90 degree USB C Type C male to female cable right and left 90. Whatever that is. I don't know. I copied that title. No clue. 746 plus shipping. Now we sold a University of Alabama. That is a zip up jacket size large Tusquare collection. Y'all can't see the A because it's on the back of the jacket. But they can see the elephant and the tusk wear. Yeah, the elephant. elephant. Tusk wear. That sold 2812 plus 840 shipping PFRE. We've actually had that for a little while. Um, sold some hat. A hat. That's good. Uh, this is the Atlanta Hawks right there. See that joker? It's a vintage sports specialty snapback hat. It's got the it, Hawks on the background. This one's just a regular hat. It ain't wore nothing. I didn't clean them. I just sold them dirty. I had to take a little less, it's fine. $26.96 plus shipping. Tell them all about that beautiful piece of thing. I don't know what it's called, Green Meadow? Oh, that. So yeah, this is the Anchor Hawking Fire King Made in USA Green Meadow 10 inch plate. For this we got $8.77 plus shipping. Sure did. Sure did. Mm. Don't y'all like this way of pulling orders? The reason we're doing this like this is because we got so much going out. Yeah, that and I got other plans for this video too, and I don't want to take up the whole video of me pulling <laughs> orders. <laughs> so uh, this is a five-inch Playmates 2014 Raphael Red Mask Paramount Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This sold seven thirty-six free shipping. <laughs> I don't know what this cord is, y'all. It comes. It's, with... it, buddy, look at that cord it's got with it it's like 50 feet long and it's it's, it's for a doorbell yeah it doesn't have or a wires. thermostat it's got all that little like i don't know <clears throat> sorry y'all oh covid allergies okay well. 742 plus shipping mm. now we got a viewer sale going out and um it's a fart filter box Last one. Last one of them fart filter box. This is going out to Rosilla Reviews on YouTube. And um, his name is DL. That's what we're going to go with. DL. Because he said yesterday his first name was something wrong. I think. So, McIntosh. Is that how you say it? In September, you can fart McIntosh apples. apples. Next month, you get candy corn and dead leaves. So, thank you so much for your support and purchase. Hopefully, you enjoy that joker. I mean, I would. I mean, I wouldn't enjoy if it was an actual fart filter. Mm. Alrighty, so next thing we sold. Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. DC Collectibles, DC Comics, Super Villains, Harley Quinn, New 52 Roller Derby. And that is She even got some extra skate. Nope, she got the skate hookups in there. 1724 plus shipping. Can y'all guess what, can y'all guess what this is? Bueller. Bueller. That is a Nintendo Game Boy camera blue with, with the, the manual. Book. I put tested and working. That was a lie. But we figured we'd take a chance. I mean, it's excellent condition. It's got to be working right. 
I just copied that guy's title and I was listening fast and I lied. That sold 2246 plus shipping. Now we sold a lot of six Sega Genesis games. We got Earthworm Jam, Boogerman, Booger Man. A Pick and Flick Adventure. Hmm. Captain America and the Avengers. Mortal Don't you hate that though when you pick your nose and you get a real sticky one and you can't flick it? Okay. Mortal Kombat 2, <laughs> Incredible Hulk, and Pitfall. The Mayan Adventure, all for Sega Genesis. Yeah, them sold for $37.50 plus shipping. Picked them up at a garage sale this Saturday. We didn't get it on film. And that way we paid 10 bucks for them. And y'all are probably wondering before he said that, why aren't they in the video game lot? It's because we bought them after the lot. Yeah, I bought them Saturday. Sorry. Sold them jokers. Um, these are some two sets of SAS, the San Antonio Shoe Company. No, San Antonio Shoe Makers. And they're Mercedes Aromatic Moisture Control Socks. Basically, it's just socks. like a cedar sock. You put down any shoe and it makes it smell like a cedar. Anyhow, them sold for thirteen forty six plus shipping. Now we got this pair of Lululemon leggings. Bright pattern. Y'all can see. They're black with a multicolored paisley design. Them sold for ten twelve plus four dollars shipping. Now we sold a lot of seven PS3 games. Kills on three, Need for Speed Undercover, Uncharted, Little Big Planet, Black Ops Three, and um NBL Ten the Show and Grand Theft Auto Liberty City. Which that case is really right. They sold pretty cheap. Um thirteen, sixteen plus shipping. Um I'm trying to see why I sold them so cheap. I think they bought them. Um, cases them. have wear and tear. Yeah, it does. Look. Yeah, I have no idea anyway. That's what they sold for. Yeah, that's bad. So that's why they sold so cheap. And the games are probably scratched some, so. Now we sold this vintage starter duck hat, ducks, mm -hmm. hockey, $21.94 plus shipping. That's going to Spain. Not bad. Yeah, I'm happy with it. And then we sold that right there. That scrapbook is paper. Museum of the Cherokee Indian scrapbook paper set, yeah. emissaries of peace kit. Y'all see them people? That came from like a burial mound museum, I think. Or Cherokee Scary. Indian Museum. Just the Museum of Cher the Cherokee Indian. Yep. From 2007. That's, cool. That's a 1124 plus shipping. And I actually bought a bunch of scrapbook stuff in a lot down in Florida one day. And we sold all the paper. Just haven't sold all the little cutters. So, sold two of these to the same buyer. It's these little wooden things. That one's got a time thingy. And that one's got a dove. And you open them up and it's got Jesus on the cross. See that? And then it's got them two figures. And they got little leather straps with little pins in them. Real cool. Sold these two for 1870 each. So 1870, 1870 plus shipping. Paid 10 cents for them at a garage sale. And last but not least is this cordless phone. It is an AT&T Dex 6, and it's just the base, the little charger and handset there. This sold for $15.70 plus shipping, so cordless phones always do well. So, so far that is our orders going out today, mm -hmm. well tomorrow. If we have any more, we'll come back to y'all and show them, to. Mm -hmm. I'll add them in this video. But, um... May not all be together. Let's jump over here real quick and show you some more stuff. Alrighty, guys and gals, we got all the orders you seen a while ago packed up right there in them bags. These are the, um, right here, these are the wholesale lots we did on our website, rednetresale.org, more common. Um, we got the Lou the Row, we got the action figures, we got the cufflink jewelry, and then the video game stuff here, we had to divide into two boxes. So this is a double wall, 14, 14, 12. It weighs 25, almost 26 pounds, basically. And this is basically the consoles. Um, this is a large box we cut down. It weighs almost 40 pounds, and it's 18 and a half, 22, 12. And that's the box of cords and the games, basically. So these two boxes, the video game stuff, 
and then that stuff's packed up um kind of a headache this morning figuring out the best way to ship in it and that kind of deal but now we've got it figured out how to do it so it'll be easier from here out we're gonna do you know more lots they may not be ginormous and weigh 70 pounds but i'm um, gonna do some lots right anyhow could y'all guess what yard sale we bought could you guess miss courtney hold up the number of the yard sale we bought he says it's four. I ain't seen anything yet, so I couldn't tell you either. But he says it's four. It may have been five. Yeah. <laughs> it's either four or five, y'all. <laughs> it was number five. Anyhow, um, yeah. This is what happens when I don't see the editing ahead of time. Hold on, let's double check here. Y'all want to watch with us? We're going. No, because then it's just like he watching. I don't know which one it was. Let's find out. Uh-oh, what just happened? Well, you got that thing all up in the camera. Okay. I don't know which one it was, so we're going to find out together. Hey, howdy, everybody. How are you? Let's scroll through until I can see the number. Not that one. Here go. It wasn't that one. No. Nope. Howdy. Not that one. It wasn't. Was it four? No. No, it wasn't four. It was yard sale number, number five. five. See, you, you made me give him the wrong number. Mm, but it's at yard sale number four. Y'all seen me? I picked up this jacket. Yep, and we also picked up that Levi's camo jacket. And Patagonia, Patagonia hat. hat. Anyway, we got some more stuff. But here is yard sale number five. Right here. And um, we haven't started going through it yet. I only know basically what's in that box. And some of these this clear box. Bottles and that box that we looked through the rest of it was a completely blind buy basically who does that who does that so it's gonna be fun we're gonna go through this stuff here's our plan we're gonna go through this stuff we're gonna separate some stuff that's worth to sell on ebay for us or macari or Poshmark. yep and um then we're gonna make up maybe some lots out of it and miss courtney tell them what you're doing this weekend yard sale Miss Courtney is having a yard sale out here in front of the shop this weekend for the cheap junk. Cause Why not, right? I mean, there is some cheap junk. Like I know what's in this one because we looked in it. I got to check it. Like, there's this kind of deal. Like, bubbles. Like, bubbles and stuff. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. We got the yard sale number five. The next videos you're going to see, we're going to do some unboxing mysteries. Like I say, first time us going through it, we're going to go through it and be separating it. So y'all will see that coming up. And I know what y'all just kind of can see in that clear belt. You're probably thinking, well, that's just cheap dollar stuff. Well, that's just what you see. Right, right. I mean, there's no telling what's in here. Like, we comp some of this stuff. I like what I've seen. Like, these right here is like 20 bucks. I mean, Christmas is coming up. Look, there's some drawers. Draw draws. These type of things. It's not everything, just Scissors. about it. 90 four percent of it i think is brand new but like i say we haven't gone through these other barrels we could we Look. could have just paid a lot of money for a bunch of yard sale like, crap. donate stuff i don't know but that's part of the risk we wanted to do it it's gonna be fun we're gonna but that's why i'm having yard sale to get rid of all the not valuable if y'all enjoyed this video and you enjoyed that game congratulations if you got it right apparently um, i got it wrong y'all because i didn't even know he i got it wrong too who would have thought so um give us a thumbs up if you haven't already smash that subscribe button as well as the notification bell for future videos and we will see all you guys and gals probably tomorrow i didn't get my sunglasses
Thank you. 